I am Dr. Naresh Pagadala, consultant pediatrician from Manipal, Malayshuram. Today we will be talking about common pediatric emergencies that you will see at home and how to manage them and when to rush to the hospital. First of all, the most common thing pediatric fever, that is fever in children, all of you would have experienced. It's a very panicky situation, the whole family is tensed, father, mother, uncle, auntie, grandparents, nobody wants the child to have fever. Pediatric fever is defined as a temperature of more than 99 in a child. Usually, it's picked up by the people who stay at home, the mother, the caretaker or the grandmother. They feel the child is hot. Most of them rush the child to the hospital, but off late what we have seen is some parents try to give faulty medications at home, do overtly tippet sponging and then they come late with a very high amount of fever. So this should be avoided. Kindly remember when the child has fever, first thing is don't panic. Check the temperature with the help of a thermometer place it in the armpit and anything above 99 is considered as fever above 101 is considered as high fever so when do you exactly rush to the hospital 99 to 101 as i said is mild fever can be managed at home with the common antipyretic medications commonly we use paracetamol please use the correct dosage please check the recent prescription given by the doctor don't give self-medication, you check the prescription and follow it. Now, when do you rush to the hospital? When do you recognize that fever is an emergency? Let us say, even after putting paracetamol, the fever is more than 101 and it's been 4 hours of a temperature more than 101. Please rush to the hospital, otherwise there is a chance your child may throw a febrile convulsion or a seizure or in common language a fit. High fever will cause some kind of febrile fit. To prevent that, rush to the hospital if fever is more than 101 for more than 4 hours, not reducing with paracetamol. Second thing, along with fever, if your child skips two meals, that is, he doesn't eat twice. Let us say your child with fever is missing breakfast and lunch. Don't wait till dinner. Immediately 3 p.m. you rush to the hospital. If he has breakfast but he misses his lunch and dinner, don't wait till next morning, night, even if it's 10 or 11 p.m. If he's not having dinner and he has also missed lunch, that means for 12 hours he's nil by mouth. You have to rush to the hospital, otherwise they get into dehydration. He will need a medicine to reduce the fever at hospital and also they will give some fluids. Next, if the child is lethargic and he has fever, remember any child with fever with uprolling of eyeballs, becomes lethargic, not talking well, he is not his usual self, you need to rush to the hospital. And the next thing is reducing urine output. So reducing urine output, lethargic child, more than 101 fever for more than 4 hours and the child misses 2 continuous meals, you are going to take him to the hospital, he cannot be managed at home. So this is with fever. Next we talk about the other common thing we come across in Bangalore, that is pediatric respiratory infections and wheezing. It's quite common. See, most of the children with wheezing will usually have a previous history. So what we would suggest is the parents have to have the routine medications, what they used, for example, salbutamol nebulization, a nebulizer. Please keep it always ready at home. And also when you're traveling, because you never know when the wheezing will strike. Usually these things happen when you're traveling or in the middle of the night, or when you have attended some function, consumed ice cream, lot of oily food, you get back home and morning 1 am, 2 am, the child develops cough and wheezing. So always keep medicines handy. Usually for a wheeze, we start with acetylene nebulization, salbutamol nebulization. So if it's at home and you have given it before, please nebulize the child once and then bring him to the hospital if you have the previous prescription. When do you recognize wheezing as an emergency? If it is very mild, some amount of cough, the child is able to talk properly, then you can wait till morning. But please remember, if you are noticing a hurried breathing, the breathing of the child is very fast, then you have to rush immediately. Don't wait till morning. Six hours you cannot wait if the breathing is very fast. And the second thing, along with the hurried breathing, the child gets into altered sensorium. Basically, his saturation will drop below 94 if he's into altered sensorium. Please don't wait. They deteriorate rapidly. So, a child with extremely fast visible breathing, tachypnea what we call, they breathe at a high rate. And the second thing is, 
they are having an altered sensorium they are not able to speak full sentences you have to rush to the hospital please do not wait next the other common thing we come across is uh, gastroenteritis severe vomiting loose motion so this what you do when to recognize it's an emergency in a duration of 6 hours if your child vomits let us say 3 times and 3 episodes of loose stools that means he has lost lot of water in a duration of 6 hours if he is having 3 vomitings and 3 loose stools please rush him to the hospital they, he will be rehydrated immediately that way you can avoid the admission next thing along with loose motion and vomiting the child becomes drowsy and he skips two meals if he is missing a breakfast and a lunch and he is not drinking water and he is having loose stools and vomiting don't wait for more than six hours once you rush to the hospital they will give IV fluids and start the treatment immediately so these are the common things you come across the main gist is you need to know when to recognize an emergency an active happily playing child can always be managed at home but the warning signs are high grade fever more than 101 for four hours a child who skips two meals and a lethargic or a dull child or even a child who is not his usual self, he is unusually irritable. These are all signs where you cannot manage at home. Please rush to the hospital and what best has to be done will be done. If you like this video, please do like, share and comment and also if you have any doubts, please mention in the comments box. We will respond. Thank you.